I'll go get the others. Cloud? You remember how our parents used to tell us that when a person died, their spirit would cross Mount Nebo? Yeah. We all knew it was a story to scare us out of climbing the mountain. You believed it, though. I didn't. At least, I had my suspicions. But I buried them. I wanted it to be true so badly. I didn't want to think my mom was just... gone. Plus, Emilio and the others said they'd help me find her, so up the mountain we went. Some help they were. Running off and leaving you out there? Not that I knew about any of that. You don't remember? <laughs> I hit my head pretty hard when I fell off that cliff. I think it messed with my memory. Everything from around that time's a blur. I only knew what the others told me. Didn't even occur to me to question them. What'd they tell you? They said that you egged me on. <laughs> but now I know that's not what happened at all. When the rest of them ran, you were there for me. You stayed when I needed you most. If that's not a hero, then I don't know what is. I'm no hero. What kind of hero falls off a cliff with the person he's trying to save and pushes him into a pool of Mako? Sometimes, I don't even know who I am. I forget things everyone else remembers just fine and know things I've got no right knowing. It's like there's different people inside of me. And the worst part is, I can't even tell where they end and I begin. Go on. Soldier cells degrade. I think that's what's happening to me. That I'm... Falling apart. That's not going to happen to you. You saved me before. Now it's my turn. About little old me? Aye, that's right. <laughs> Worried. Come on! Sorry! So basically, we got some nasty looking black whispers going up against the planet in the life stream. And these whispers are with Sephiroth, right? Yeah. At least, that's how it looked to me while I was in there. And? Any idea who was winning? Could you tell? The planet. The life stream. Us. Well, of course we are. What did you expect? This is the planet we're talking about. Y'all know she's gonna pour her heart and soul into this fight. Just close your eyes and listen. Tell me you can't hear that. Her rallying cry. She knows Sephiroth ain't going down easy, and that she needs others to step up. But we're the only ones who can, don't you see? We need to commit, put our lives on the line to save hers. You in? Yeah. You bet we are. <clears throat> huh? Wow. What have I walked in on? You know, there are places better suited to these kinds of conversations. Like Cosmo Canyon. The home of planetology. It's right around the corner, isn't it? 
And do they have materia there? Because <laughs> if they do, I am in. Like, all in. <laughs> Since time immemorial, it has been a place for both planetary energies and ancient wisdom. Of course we... Say no more! Let's ride, people! Oh, oh. <laughs> wow, Red. What's got you so excited? <laughs> I grew up there. <laughs> that settles it. We've got ourselves a pilgrimage to make. <laughs> While it won't be an easy trek, this ought to speed things up. A free flyer pilot works out of an old airstrip nearby. He can take you part of the way. Use the south gate and follow the trail. You can't miss it. And I should... <laughs> this here is Spango. He's taken quite a liking to you. Sure, he'd be more than happy to give you guys a lift. Thanks, Cisne, for everything. The pleasure was all mine. And if you need anything else, just ask around the village. Like we found the airstrip or what's left of it yeah it's definitely seen better days you can say that again it's more crater than runway are you kidding me so we came here for nothing maybe not see that oh a republic telephone booth eh what the we look Send up smoke and we'll be right with you, folks. Bronco Airlines. Seriously? Guess so. So, find anything? Yeah, we gotta send up smoke. Like, with a fire? Wait, you've never heard of smoke signals? Wow. What do they teach you in Midgar? Enough. <laughs> well, leave it to someone who knows more than just enough. This is taking too long, but I can speed things up. <laughs> Come to me, airplane, follow the smoke! <laughs> Come, to, Come me, to me, airplane, airplane follow, follow the smoke! The smoke. Huh? Huh? Look! <gasps> right on cue! <laughs> well, I'll be damned! <laughs> Told you I'd speed things up. <laughs> Over here! Bravo, sir! Where to, folks? Cosmo Canyon, please. Uh, you talk? The hell kind of magic trick is this? <clears throat> uh, not that I ain't seen crazier shit on my travels. Now, how many of you we got? Oh, too many. <sighs> But, the old girl likes a challenge. <laughs> <laughs> With hazard pay, I'd say this is fair. And since I don't have much else going on, I'll be here scratching my ass till y'all pony up. Much obliged. Hop on board and sit where I tell you. Gotta make sure my baby's balanced just so. Hold on tight now, you hear? Fall out and you're on your own. Of course. <laughs> Here we go! We're flying! 
No shit, kid. Who do you think I am? I don't know. Who? President and pilot of Bronco Airlines, said I win. Pleasure having you aboard. I must admit, I didn't expect to find a willing participant. <laughs> you are truly a model soldier, my boy. I'd hold still if I were you. We wouldn't want any complications. No, Professor. <laughs> Since you're so committed, I'm going to give you a special treatment. One that will surely make you into a hero. Once, this would have taken years. But now, now it takes a mere 18 hours. All thanks to me and my singular genius. I stand at the forefront of science, my brilliance a guiding light! Of course, we pioneers must be ready to do what others are not. Though even I wouldn't dare attempt to improve upon perfection. Couldn't stop me even if they tried. <laughs> I think you and me are gonna get along just fine. We're getting pretty close now. Yep, bringing her down. as far as I could. Hope y'all don't mind walking, cause now you're on your own. What about the next time we need a lift? Hmm. Send up a signal. Just make sure I got room to land. Happy trails to ya. The veil's this way. Uh, hey, guys! It's me! I'm back! Nanaki? I can't believe it! It really is you! <laughs> we were so worried! Oh, come on! Whoa! Oh. Why don't you go pay your respects to fellow Bugenhagen? Go on! Uh, 
You can let them through. They're good people. I promise. After all, they're the reason I'm here. What in the hell was that? Hey guys, it's me! Who? <laughs> He's such a softy. Real quick, gotta check something. An airship dropped these on us this morning. Wanted posters of the terrorists who bombed those reactors. Hmm. But I think we can say you had nothing to do with all that. Even if Nanaki hadn't vouched for you, it's obvious. Huh. <laughs> Welcome to the Sanctum of Planetology, Cosmo Canyon. Born and raised here, in this canyon. I was to become a Watcher of the Veil like those before me, until I was taken by Shinra. Now that I'm home, and have repaid my debt to you, I plan to serve my village once more. I appreciate all that you've done for me. Thank you. We're really gonna miss you, Red. Oh, don't say that! You're only making this harder! I mean, I wish we had more time, but this is my duty. I suppose it was your duty to act the old man. I wanted you to treat me as an equal, not a dog. Not a pig! Is that you, my boy? Coming! So, was that goodbye? Nah, I'm sure we'll see him around the canyon. The real question is, why'd we come here? To learn the secrets of planetology! Come on! Can't forget that materia! As for me... Ah, that'll do. I'm gonna steal some shot eye if you don't mind. Then... We can see the sights. Oh, these are the friends I was talking about. <laughs> Thank you for looking after my monkey. My name is Wolkenhagen. I teach planetology here in the canyon. One could say I know a thing or two about our world. A thing or two? <sighs> I doubt there's a thing or two you don't know about it. <laughs> well, it might seem that way to a child like yourself. I'm not a child anymore. I'm 48. 40 what? <laughs> <laughs> Nanaki here has a long life ahead of him. In human terms, I would say he's about 15 or 16 years old. That's more than old enough. I can protect our Vale and everyone in it. Which is more than I can say for my good-for-nothing father. Oh! <laughs> Speaking of the members of our little community, have you announced your return to one and all, Namaki? Not yet. Be right back. Hmm. <laughs> but where are my manners? Please. Come in and have a look around. <laughs> That's... The planet crying out. A sorrowful dirge indeed. One I've heard all too often of late. This tubing allows us on the surface to hear the inner voice of the planet. What we just heard didn't come from the planet, though. That was definitely the voice of a weapon. Hmm... You seem awfully sure of yourself, miss. Because we saw them. 
with our own eyes. Two in the Corral and Gungaga reactors. They were loud and huge. <laughs> A fascinating account. Were it true? However, such grand delusions could be a sign of Marco poisoning. Do see a doctor. Um, excuse me? Oh, oh. Yes. That would do them some good. <laughs> Judging from everything you've said, the three of you are unfamiliar with basic planetology. But it is never too late to learn. Please, come with me. I present to you our planetarium. While the Shinra building features the latest iteration, this particular one is my original design. Now then, without further ado... It's only the beginning. A shooting star! Planetology is not simply the study of the cosmos and the celestial bodies that dwell in it. Rather, it is a quest to comprehend the cyclical nature of life. From its soil, so teeming with life, that mankind was born. And like all living things, man is fated to die. So, what happens next? The body withers and returns to the planet. But what of the mind, the spirit, the soul? Much like its former vessel, it too returns whence it came. To the great river where all intertwine and circle the planet without end. A cycle of continuous convergence and divergence. The ceaseless ebb and flow that is the life stream. An apt name. Though it is as much a reservoir as it is a stream, being the sum of the planet's spiritual energy. It is the very essence of our star, the blood coursing through its planetary veins. And, if ever that essence were to be entirely depleted, These are but basic principles of planetology. So you're saying that Mako is spiritual energy, which we're using up? Just so. Siphoned from the planet and processed for industry, that energy can no longer fulfill its true purpose. It is fated to fuel man's machinery, then fade away. Okay. But does it actually fade away? I mean, what if it doesn't? What if it just returns to the life stream in a different form? Is that possible? 
A novel theory, suggestive of a lack of understanding. Hmm. However, that can be overcome with time and education. You rang? Please escort this young lady to our seminar room, would you? Right this way. Okay. Hey, can I come? Got a question. Planet runs out of energy. It and everything on it dies, right? <sighs> yes. There any way to avoid this? Like, making the spiritual energy stronger? Why are you asking me such things? <clears throat> I'm sorry. I've come to realize that I'm somewhat stuck in the past. We've entered an era in which humanity exerts unprecedented influence over its environs. And as both the planet and society evolve, so too must science. And yet it seems that I cannot. Perhaps I'm much too old of a dog to learn any new tricks. What about you, miss? You must have a story to share. Please. Me? Uh, okay. I, uh... Where to begin? I fell into the life stream. I don't have words to describe it. Except beautiful, maybe? It was... A lot to take in. Feelings of kindness washed over me. Long-forgotten memories came flooding back. It was a warm, comforting place. But... There was also conflict. A war... Between the planet and its enemies. And I can't... I mean... We can't let them win. We need the planet, and it needs us. We have to rise up. Fight back. Defend it from this terrible threat. Thing is, I don't know how to do any of that. And I hoped you might have the answer. <sighs> I, I'm not criticizing planetology or anything, and I'm not trying to scare anybody either. I just... You know... <sighs> Never mind. This is all coming out wrong. Please, do not be discouraged. Should you ever wish to try again, we would be more than happy to listen. What matters is that you keep challenging your beliefs. Stop doing that, and the answers will forever elude you. On that note, I think we should adjourn for the evening. The River of Lights is almost upon us, so let us head to the torch. I'll see you at the festival.
Did I sound as awkward as I felt? You did good. Can't help it if they suck at listening. I got what you were saying. I kinda wanted everyone to get it, though. To hell with everyone. <laughs> Great advice. Thanks. Some carry a fire that rivals even this. I had the pleasure of talking to a mentor. Said it was presumptuous of me to think I could save the planet. She decides her own fate, you see. As rain cleanses the skies, so too does she cleanse herself of filth. So what? We sit here and theorize while the planet rinses and repeats? No, we fight, or nothing will change. That's what I said. I knew you'd see it my way, Merc. Thanks. As such, the life with which she has blessed us is a gift. Look at them, gathered around the fire. Just like us that day. Me and Mom and Dad. If only we could do that again. Uh, never mind. Just forget I said anything. I'll lend an ear. Whenever I think about my mom, my chest swells with so much pride, I, I feel like it'll burst. But when it comes to my dad, I just... Sorry, I can't. Still not ready. When you die, you return to the planet? That has literally got to be the dumbest thing I have ever heard. Once you die, that's that. Pretty much. Thank you. So if you get that, you get why I live every day like it's my last. So, I'm an ancient, as in a steward of the planet, one of those ancients, or to be more precise, the only ancient. For the most part, it's been a source of pain. I've been held against my will, I've been watched, I've been ignored, even hated. And it's been that way ever since I was little. My blood's been nothing but a curse. If I ever started to forget, something would remind me of what I was and bring me crashing back down to Earth. It was always the same. Time after time. I'd be shown a glimmer of hope, only to have it snatched away. I was never going to be normal. That much was clear. It's okay. So my blood's been a curse, but it's also been a blessing. It's brought some wonderful people into my life, friends that I love. And for once, I think I'm okay. Happy even. And all that pain feels worth it. Even if I can't lead a normal life, 
There is one thing I can do. Return their kindness. And try to make the most of what I've been given. It is time! <sighs> Whoa! <laughs> Pretty sappy, huh? Every word, though. So, this is where you've been, Nanaki. What's up? There's something of great import I need to show you. And by that, I mean all of you. Join me, would you? What did you all think of the River of Light? Forward us? The ceremony has drawn a number of tourists to the Vale Reservoir. When I ask for their impressions, they often speak of how beautiful it was. Some claim they were even moved to tears. It's an overwhelmingly positive reception, I'm happy to say. To stir the human soul is no small feat, and it pleases me to know that the River of Light possesses such power. Bless my hopes to parlay their emotional response into a deeper intellectual curiosity. We have yet to be within. People are surrounded by cats, dogs, birds, and trees. They know that life is all around them, be it through the birth of a baby or the blooming of a flower. They bear constant witness to the blessed cycle of creation, yet they've no interest in the welfare of our planet. <laughs> Forgive me for sharing my idle thoughts. Keeping them to myself is quite a challenge in my old age. Today's experience was surely the will of the planet. May you cherish it always. Oh, 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 oh. Well then, shall we proceed? Uh, but I thought this door was... Sealed so that none may enter? Why, yes. And by my own hand, no less. However, you've a trial to undertake. I do? If you wish to prove yourself, and become a Watcher of the Veil, that is. I presume you are prepared. Yeah. I will also require your assistance in carrying out the trial. Much danger awaits within, and I wish to ensure his safety. When you're ready, simply say the word. Then off we go! Now 
Now we follow the cave where it leads, deep as it will take us. Has Nanaki told you anything about his parents yet? No. They were watchers, both of them. But they couldn't have been any more different. When our village came under attack, my mother fought with courage, with honor. She faced the enemy and laid down her life to save us. My father, though, he turned tail and ran. He was a coward. So then, you still haven't forgiven him? Why would I? Oh, I see. <laughs> From this point onward, only two may proceed. He who shall undertake the trial, and his observer. Who's gonna observe? I'll do it. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> that would render the trial meaningless. But if not him... Ah, you do nicely. Me? Him? Really? At least pretend not to hate me. Oh, whenever you're ready. Ready. What the hell is that? That is a key. It's huge. <laughs> Under normal circumstances, I would stress that you mustn't judge a book by its cover. For the key, however... They're as fearsome as their appearance implies. These are the things that killed my mom? Nanaki, this shall be your first trial. You are to explore this place. Understand the nature of its history. Okay, will do. See the relic of our past. Carry it forth, and bring the truth to light. Only then shall the path reveal itself unto you. Get rid of that thing! manifests as such. They who wander in search of retribution. That's kind of pathetic. Do not be so quick to denigrate your enemies, nor make light of their plight. Consider this statue. It has been placed in this chamber for a reason. Handle it with the utmost care. I will. Deliver unto us the remnants of our past. Our rancor be 
begins to fade. Arlene, Daddy loves you. That it? <laughs> Not in the least. The Vale is intertwined with the Gi, for they first came to these lands many millennia ago. This sanctuary is proof of their persistence, for it was built to ensure that they never escaped. But if they were sealed away thousands of years ago, how'd they break out and attack the Vale? That I cannot answer. Only the Gi themselves could. But enough about them. You are here to learn about yourself, Nanaki. Evanescent. 
rancor everlasting. Well done. You've become quite the formidable fighter. <laughs> sure have. So, does this mean I passed the test? Oh, oh. I'm afraid that decision is not mine alone to make. <sighs> Let us consult with one more qualified. The Watcher of the Veil fought valiantly and offered up his life in defense of our home. As you see, he still watches over us to this very day. Wait, is that... Seto? My father? No, there's no way. The poisoned arrows of the Gi transformed his body into stone. And there he has stood ever since, his watch eternal. Our savior. What about my mom? Did she know what had happened to him? Oh, oh, oh. Why, of course she did. It was, after all, she and Seto who asked me to see her off the cave. But why? Why did she never tell me the truth? Because she knew that if she did, you would attempt to seek your father out all by yourself. Your parents strove to keep our veil safe. But there is one thing they fought even harder to protect. You, Nanaki, their son. She was afraid, because I was too small and weak. <laughs> Back then, perhaps, but not anymore, heavens no. You've become a fine warrior in your own right. And that is precisely why I brought you here. <laughs> but this is not where your journey is meant to end, my dear boy. You must leave the Vale once more. But I'm a Watcher now! I gotta protect our home, like he did! Listen to me, Mama He. When I first heard your friend's emphatic warnings, I dismissed them outright. No more than the ravings of misguided youths. When you've lived as long as I have, you start to believe you've seen it all. But no surprises remain. But I realize now how very foolish I have been. The eyes that I thought saw the world clearly have grown blind to new possibilities. But... I would hate to impede your progress any further. I bid you leave, Nanaki. Before, like me, you become inured to your own ignorance. With sharper eyes and keener ears, go forth and in my stead seek the great truths of our world. Look after him for me. Don't worry. We will. You failed this trial, my boy. Continue your training and try again. Are you up to the task, Nanaki? You bet I am. After all... I am Nanaki, Watcher of Cosmo Canyon, and son of Seto, protector of our veil.
Hearken unto me. My name is Guy Natak. O oh, brave and noble Seto, I beseech you once more. Hear the urgent pleas of my people. My thanks, Seto. You are as magnanimous as ever. The warrior Nanaki. And you, the Setra. Come with me. That was... Oh, an exciting turn of events indeed. We'll back you up for two thousand. But... No. This one's free. The home of the Gi lies beyond. Now let us begin our journey. Not so fast. What's in it for us? Unless it's Materia, you can count me out. How strange you should mention Materia. My people are also in search of it. <laughs> okay, all aboard! <laughs> I've stayed longer if I could, but I'll be back soon. Maybe try swaying with the rocking of the boat? I want to move less, not more. <laughs> Didn't seem to mind when you jumped aboard. Well, only because he mentioned Materia. Be quiet. The planet is listening. And what's wrong with that? Anything that reaches the planet's ears, in due time, reaches those of the Cetra. Unfortunately, the Cetra are not a tolerant people. Excuse me, am I intolerant too? I'm Cetra. <laughs> you are indeed one of them, by lineage alone. You know not of their history. That has been lost to time. Their... history? Consider your ignorance a blessing. The Cetra's past is fraught with horror and sorrow. So there I am, on the ground, bleeding out. Watching everything go dark. Thinking, this is it. This is how it ends. Only, it isn't. Suddenly, the wind picks up out of nowhere. It tugs at me so hard, it feels like it's tearing my soul right out of my body. Next thing I know, I'm back in the orphanage. 
But nobody can tell me who found me or how I got there. It's a miracle. Sounds like what happened to me. Whole freaking army unloading on my position. I'm feeling every single force. One minute, I'm outnumbered, and the next, I'm alone. None of it makes any sense. I somehow managed to beat the odds and wake up here, alone. Why in the hell did fate pick me? Can't think that way. <laughs> Can't not think that way. Their luck runs out, but mine doesn't. I'm the only one who gets a pass. <laughs> and now that it's just me, what am I supposed to do? You know? Yeah, I get it. Hey, come with me. Sure, but why? I'll explain on the way. Get a load of this. <laughs> okay, let's see. The destruction of Sector 7 was orchestrated by Shinra themselves. We can't let those murderers get away with it. People of Midgar fight back against our corporate oppressors by joining Avalanche. Seek us out at the lot off Petal Lane. Wow, that's bold. Yep. These guys are setting a trap for themselves. Shinra will just roll in and round them all up. Doubt public security will even bother going through the motions. Easier just to shoot and skip the paperwork. Then anyone who goes is... An idiot, I know. But idiots are what we need right now. Folks will risk it all. Wait! Don't tell me you're going! The things I do for friends. Nobody, huh? Not a soul. Well, at least Shinra was a no-show too, right? Who's there? <laughs> hmm? Huh. New recruit? ever join Avalanche. I just came to see what kind of morons would fall for your dumbass propaganda, that's all. But I should have known. Nobody could be that stupid. <laughs> anyway, I'm out, losers. <laughs> I told you I wasn't cut out for a leading role. And here I thought I might have been saved for a reason. Some higher purpose. <sighs> Sorry for wasting your time. Biggs! It's up to us to find our own purpose. I mean, who says it's gotta be one way? Everyone's sitting back, acting like the world's doomed, but the future's not set in stone. We're not powerless. So long as we don't lose sight of what's important. <sighs> you know, what matters most of all when the going gets tough. I don't know, hopes, dreams maybe? Something like that. So long as we've got those. And hold on tight and never let go. Like this? Like, like your life depends on it. <laughs> the world's lucky to have you. It's a start. Hmm. Anyway, I gotta run. 
I'll be sure to pay a visit to Cloud when I get the chance. See ya. Think about what I said. Guess I should probably head home too. Hmm. Home, huh? I'm back. Welcome home. Welcome home. Guess who I just saw? Biggs. Really? Uh. Said he'd visit too. Oh yay! <laughs> Did he say anything about Daddy or Tifa? No, oh, uh, sorry. Forgot to ask. Aww! Zack, would you mind checking on Aerith for me? Sure. We're all headed for the same place. You'll see your Daddy and Tifa again. Soon? Soon enough, Marlene. Soon enough. It's me. The wind, that was you, wasn't it? Hello in there. of the gear. To the planet and so she rejects them because you have to come from the life stream to return to it which means these dudes can't die right <laughs> they're invincible i'm not sure that's something to celebrate being stuck as spirits with no hope of release sounds like a fate worse than death as if you know anything about dying uh, i mean are you even really alive? <laughs> Another stuck spirit, perhaps? We shall not rest till the materia is ours. You and me both.
Don't know about y'all, but I got a sinking feeling. Think we probably don't want to overstay our welcome here. It's hard to feel at ease around folks whose only desire is death. And if the planet won't let them have it, well, who's to say they won't let the planet have it? Save uh, me! Sure. Don't you think someone responsible like me ought to hang on to that materia? So it doesn't fall into the wrong hands? I think we shouldn't get involved at all, Lassie. A little late for that. What do you think he wants us to do for him? Steeped in our one desire, pure as the material in the world, with pain and spite a lack. Steeped in our one desire, pure as the material in the world, with pain and spite a lack. Steeped in our one desire, pure as the material in the world. Whatever that materia is, we can't let them have it. No matter how much they want it. Don't know how far we can let this go, but for now we play along. Those not born of the life stream can never join its flow. One cannot return to that from which one did not arise. And so our soul sought refuge here. Yet idleness brought no solace. Our days, a penance imposed by the planet for the sin of our existence. And now, our only wish is to be freed from this prison, to be granted true release. From the planet, we claim the greatest of materia, a most sacred treasure, and imbued it with our desire for freedom. After an eternity, the materia began to stir, and thus did we rejoice knowing that salvation was within our grasp. We rejoiced, so convinced were we that our prayers for release had not been in vain. Yet the loathsome Cetra trespassed upon our lands and stole the treasure that would grant us deliverance. Therefore, we ask that you retrieve it, the Black Materia, key to our oblivion. Please, it alone can liberate us from this endless dream. The Gi cannot rest until our sacred treasure has been restored to us. Moreover, in redressing the crime of her ancestors, the Cetra may help us to let go our ancient grudge. Where is it? It is said the orb lies within a place of Cetra worship. A place of Cetra worship? Or temple? You know what? I have an idea. At least, I think I do. Forgive me, Hollow One, if I regard you with suspicion. Now hold on there. 
I'm friend to one and all, thanks to my crystal ball. No matter your need, I have the right read. <sighs> He's strange, but you can trust him. Really. It appears we have been discovered. I trust you will return our materia to its rightful home. Only you can end our torment. Guess we're back? Yeah. We need to get moving. Right! I'll make you proud, Dad. Just wait. You're alive. I feared you might have returned to the planet. Oh, come on. We both know you didn't need to worry about me. After all, I am the son of Seto the Watcher. Forgive me. But if I recall correctly, Shinra should have set up a transmission terminal here in Cosmo Canyon, so... Where is it? Oh. oh what did become of that thing? Ah, yes. Now I remember. I was so fascinated by the technology it employed, uh, I did some tinkering. Some tinkering, I say, though it was quite a lot. But now it serves a decidedly more practical purpose. You've got to be kidding me! Oh, well, do you know about a Setra temple? A temple, you say? If you mean a place where they worshipped gods, none exist. The Cetra never engaged in such practices. I didn't know that. Maybe it was referred to as such by someone ignorant of their culture. If instead it is a site of importance to the Cetra that you seek, texts do speak of one, and of the pains taken to conceal it. So, it does exist? Oh, ho, ho, ho. Perhaps, though I know not where it is. Huh? And even should you find it, I would urge caution. They were a star-crossed people. To follow in their footsteps is to court tragedy. <sighs> However, the rewards may yet outweigh the risks. You must bring every one of your senses to bear. For then no secret will elude you, however well hidden. And when you return home, I hope you'll share your discoveries with me. Fellow Bugenhagen! What is it? I'm a little busy here. Another man in a black robe has come. What should we do? Well now, a friend of yours? Where'd you see him? Oh, uh, the village gate. We should check it out. Yeah. Nanaki! Is this man okay? He is, albeit rather weak. Not sure why, though. I know Mako poisoning when I see it, and this isn't it. Nibu... I'm... Nibu... I'm... Nibu... I'm... Ain't bad. Ratifa and I grew up. Of course! Nibelheim has a terminal. I'd bet my whiskers on it. It, uh, had a terminal. Cloud, remember what you told Gein attack back there? That I might be weird, but you can trust me. Hey, well, even if you were lying, I'm gonna prove to you that you can trust me. That I'm on your side. It's not that. We should go. Hey! 
Wait, I... you're talking about heading to Nibelheim from here? There's no roads you can take far as I know. Maybe we can't go by land. But by air. Meaning we'll need smoke. Right then, back to the airstrip we go. the black materia. We're not the only ones headed for Nibelheim. Huh. Almost like they swung by Cosmo Canyon just so they could lead us here. Sorry, just thinking out loud. Forget about it. I thought I was ready for this, but it's just too real. he got us lost because it looks different so who do you think we built it shinra never mind all that we've got a terminal to find
Well, shit. A lot of robes out here. Yeah. And look. Locals. Only they aren't quite the same, are they? Hello there. Can I help you? Greetings, good sir. I am a proud employee of Shinra Resorts. And since I was nearby, I thought I might pop in and check something on the company database. And your companions? Oh, them? They are... I used to live here until... you know. I see. And are you aware of what Nibelheim is now? Nope. No idea. Uh, five years ago, Shinra assumed direct control over this village. It now serves as a treatment center for Mako poisoning. All property rights have been transferred. If that's why you're here, contact special facilities at corporate. They'll be able to help you. Very helpful. Thank you, sir. Ah, but the database. I'll not be a wee minute. Uh, uh, I'm sure you're eager to see your hometown, but please, don't stay too long. Well now, who might you be? Ah, oh, that's right. You're the ones Nick was talking about. New in town, aren't you? No. Ugh. In that case, you ought to know better than to interrupt a busy chef, hmm? I can leave. No, no, I don't mind. Could use someone to talk to anyway. Then again, I sense you're not much of a chatterbox. Here you want to see? Maybe a girlfriend? Speaking of which, I'll bet you're dying to hear about mine. Am I right? What? Not interested? <laughs> I'm gonna tell you anyway. She's real pretty. No. Beautiful. Kind of depends on the angle. <laughs> She's just great to be around. She's from Midgard? Yep. Real city now. Zach. Zach Fair. From Gungaga. Head over heels for Eric. We fought together as soldiers. You were here with me. Five years ago. You came with me on the mission. Knowing it was too good to be true, I only have limited access from this console. Let me guess. Limited doesn't cut it. Nope. But all is not lost. Excuse me, good sir. Would you be so kind as to grant us entry into Shinra Manor? Don't you have clearance for that? Oh, if only. I'm but a wee bottom feeder. Barely have clearance to use the bathroom, me. Be that as it may, I can't let you in there myself. You'll have to ask my boss instead. Meaning the Deputy Commissioner? Or the Commission himself? Let's meet and greet. Deputy Commissioner Murasaki's up at the reactor, conducting an inspection for corporate. He's due back the day after tomorrow, but he hasn't been in touch to confirm. Could be he needs more time. 
Ah, uh, we can't afford to dilly dally. Then we'll just have to track them down. Agreed. So, you're headed to the reactor, huh? Headed to the reactor? No luck at Town Hall, I take it? Hmm. Gotta get a key card. A guy named Murasaki has it, but he's inspecting the reactor. Well then, you'll need a ninja to accompany you. I'm coming with. Me too. Really? You sure? <laughs> Ask anyone around here. I'm the best there is. All right. You sure you're gonna be okay? We're going on a hike and getting a key card. How tough can it be? You'll still be gone for a while. Sure there's nothing you need to take care of? I'm putting you in charge of provisions. But make it snappy. My materia needs me. New bridge just went in, you know? Might shave some time off the trip. Sounds like a plan to me. All right, reactor word ho! Sir, we've received word about the Nibelheim survey team. It appears they were ambushed. By Wu Tai. <laughs> Indeed, and so it begins. What is it? I don't remember what happened here. And to Zack. Oh. Bridge broke. He fell, got swept away by the current. I think he's... dead. You never forgot, did you? That's why you've been acting weird. I didn't want to upset you. That's all. Zack was my friend. How could I just forget him like that? Degradation. It's following me out, bit by bit. You're wrong. You remember, Cloud. It'll be okay. It will. I know it. Thanks. We gotta tell Aerith about this. She deserves to know what happened. Yeah. Yeah, she does. But let me be the one to do it. Why? Because she and I are close, you know? Hey! Are you two done yet? Yep. Be right there. Let's just keep this between the two of us. Promise? Amako Spring. Wow, it's so much bigger. Naturally formed materia. And look at the size of it. Astounding. For the Mako energy to condense into something like this, 
It must have taken an eternity. Hey, we should get out of here. All this Mako's making me queasy. Yeah, me too. Almost there. Once we get past this part, <coughs> then... <sighs> Come on. Let's find another route. No need to worry. I've already found one. <sighs> More climbing, but hey! Join up? I'm dead serious, you know. I really think you'd like it in we could bring the whole gang even. We'll start our own spec ops unit. The UV Recon Patrol! Shinra will be afraid to even speak our name. They'll stand in awe of the fair ninja who leads her loyal minions and tremble in fear when they see the wire peas coming in hot. <laughs> People will be banging down the door to buy our film rights. Your stunned silence says more than words ever could. I knew you'd be on board. Please shut up. Ceasefire, though? That's what they say. Still, doesn't mean we are. And it makes no difference to them either way. Come on. We gotta find Murasaki. Right. This is it. There's no turning back. <sighs> I 
did they do this? No one told you anything? No, nothing! I had no idea they were planning an operation! I should have been here! Should have done something for them! You've done tons for us. Remember that. <laughs> Whatever. Who's there? We're here to help! Ready? Saki. Our guy. We need to check the inside. There might still be survivors. Yeah. <sighs> I don't see anyone. Yeah. And there. Huh? 
Kate Sith? Ah, Yuffie! And where might you be? Back room off Mako storage. You? Town hall still. Thought I might be able to do something from here, so I tried accessing the reactor terminal. Anyway, did you find Murasaki? Yeah, he did. He died in a skirmish with Wutai. He... what? Then we don't have much time. We have to reach the terminal in Shinra Manor before word gets out. You've got the key card, right? Yeah. Good. Then slot it into the console. I'll work my magic from here. Should have that gate open before you know it. Yes! Get in there, my son! I'll go ahead and look for the terminal. See you there. <laughs> Meet at the manor. Got it. Cheerio! See ya! Let's go. Well, you heard them. Time is of the essence. We need to find that terminal, ideally before they get back. Yes, sir. You stay behind and wait for them. Once they arrive, you can put that nose of yours to work. Follow our scent right to us. <sighs> You gotta admit, you're the best one for the job. I will concede you have a point. Then let's get a move on. Kinda creepy. Huh. This a kid's clubhouse? Oh, I think it's a bit more dangerous than that. But nay bother, I'll protect you. Uh... Hello, and welcome to Shinra Manor. Uh -huh. Trespassers. Hojo. I don't know what it is you hope to find here, but I'm afraid this facility has been abandoned for some time. Everything of value is gone. But please, feel free to poke around. Ah! It's not him. Just an AI caretaker. That said, this facility has always had a place in my heart. I must insist that you leave it in the condition in which you found it. And with that in mind, I won't keep you any longer. Thanks for dropping in. Ah! Ah! <laughs> A sore one? Huh? <laughs> Don't walk into the light, Barrett! <clears throat> that shithead is gonna get it. <clears throat> I think we're trapped in here. Like rats in a cage. No squeezing through those bars. Huh? That duck, however, might just fit a cat. Sit tight, I'll have you out in a jiffy. The cat of the hour. <laughs> just you leave the problem solving to me, eh? You're in safe pause now. Insufficient power. Generator on standby. Ah, oh, sounds about right. Switching ventilation system to maintenance mode, enabling duct access. Please commence on-site inspection. According to this, that generator's somewhere upstairs. Well, nothing else for it. Back into the air ducts I go. Sure you'll be okay? Positive. I'll be in and out before you know it. Don't have too much fun without me! There! Got it! Huh? Eh? 
What now? better for a wee lie down. <clears throat> so then, onwards and upwards? Ah, oh, for crying out loud, what is it this time? You'll require the password to proceed. Huh? You again. Now, now, no need for violence. I come in peace. And to abet your escape as well. Huh. Like hell you do. Really, it's true. You're far more resilient than anticipated. And I concluded that, rather than allow you to run amok any longer, I ought to help you see yourselves out peacefully. The password is comprised of four two-digit numbers. I wrote them down in this very room, but where? Well then, no time to waste. <laughs> to any unauthorized personnel. It's where I've been keeping a rather unruly failure. <laughs> Check out this shit right here! 
Wasn't he built for this kind of thing? Excellent work dispatching that seed. Thanks to you, the manor is a little more neat and tidy. All well earned praise aside, since that nettlesome test subject is finally out of my hair, I have no further reason to remain here. <laughs> it's been nothing if not entertaining. Until we meet again. Exterminators. That smug asshole. Next time I see him, I'm ramming my fist right through his face. Agreed? Agreed. <laughs> we best get going. The terminal's waiting. Well, well, well. Look who the cat dragged in. Hey there. So, find that terminal? Let's just say we got a little sidetracked. Well, we can but try again. No sense tuning on past mistakes. Uh, right. a bit grim, no? Doesn't matter. Who are you? Vincent Valentine. I'm.
security. Uh. <laughs> Why are you here? Be brief. Your terminal. Mm hmm. Card. the authorization at least. Oh, great. <laughs> Though you're clearly not Murasaki. Explain yourself. Ah, uh, it's a bit of a long story, and we'd love to tell you all about it, but there's something we really need to look up first. Can't go letting a foe win the information war, eh? You a foe? And who might that be? A man who many people, myself included, once called a hero. Sephiroth. He's insane, and he's after something so powerful, he could destroy the planet unless we stop him. I see. to atone for. The room is unlocked. Use it as you see fit, Mr. Murasaki. Don't mind if we do, I guess. Still got that key card. Gonna need a bit of time with this. Might I suggest a spot of recon? here. I don't recall giving you permission to go in there. Oh, it was an honest mistake. We didn't mean any... Ah! Why should I? 
He's trespassing. Like you. Save it. I've had a pretty shit day. What a coincidence. So have I. on you.
Let's dance, asshole. I know your story. Vincent Valentine, former Turk. Stumbled on your file in the company database. There's a reason you're alone in the dark down here. And that reason has something to do with Sephiroth. Am I right? That's none of your business. I only ask because you might want to come with us. I don't know whether Sephiroth is dead or alive or something in between. But I do know that if I stick with this lot, I'll find out one way or another. Is this how you want your story to end? That'll be our way out then. Now we know where the temple is, let's not bother the man. Hey, Space Cadet, come on. Okay, next stop, the temple. Hear that black materia? I'm coming for ya! Oh man, my rep's gonna go through the roof! Well, it ain't like it could go down. <clears throat> oh, oh, it's on. <laughs> so, where is it? Aye, about that. What's the matter? You ain't been bluffing this whole time, have you? No, that's not it. We could go there right now, if you really wanted. Hmm? But before that, would you mind a quick trip to the saucer? What? Why would we want to go there? To even set foot inside the temple, we'll need to get our hands on a relic called the Keystone. Trouble is, it's been missing for nigh on 20 years. So, any guesses as to where it was last seen? The gold saucer. I know. It's a stretch. No denying that. But it's the only lead I've got. Then let's follow it. We trust you. You do? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <sighs> well, if we gotta... Once we're good, let's get a move on. Right.
our long awaited reunion. I'm not going with you, so back off. <laughs> you misunderstand. I'm defying my boss to be here, because I've got a hunger that cannot be denied. My desire to see you has driven me on. That's what I get for redlining the old engine. All right, my friend, it's the final lap. So let's con it one last time! He's mine! This is a race, remember? Come on, Cloud. We're on the home stretch! <laughs> Happen to you. Don't worry. Yeah, 
She's right. You're gonna be just fine. Come on. The gilded saucer awaits. And the keystone. Yeah. Supporters of the Shinra Resistance Committee. My name is Glenn Lodbrock, a representative of Wu Tai's interim government. The hour is upon us, when we must rise up to confront tyranny. Mere days ago, Junon's cannon rang out. A message. A declaration by Shinra's new president that he, like his father before him, would rule by fear. What's more, we recently learned that he had sanctioned the development of living weapons grown within the Mako reactors that provide power to your homes. Alarmed, we decided to seek answers, and in accordance with the ceasefire treaty, our government sent officials to investigate. Shinra promised their full cooperation. But when our inspectors duly arrived, they were mercilessly slaughtered. The footage you are about to see was taken from inside one of the reactors. This is what Rufus Shinra calls a ceasefire. Friends, we do not have our enemy's military might. Nevertheless, a righteous fury burns in each of our hearts. A fire that we may carry to Midgar. And there, together, Put the city of Mako and Misery to the torch! This is our answer, Rufus Shinra. We are ready to march. And to lead us, Wu Tai's commander, Viceroy Saru. Exactly is this Saruf? The invisible man? <sighs> Regrettably, we have no intelligence to present at this time. <laughs> then you clearly aren't looking hard enough. Look harder. Ma'am. What about that Glenn? What's his name? Glenn Ladbrock, ma'am. Ex soldier. P0 class, a prototype. Fifteen years ago, he was sent to Rador on a geological survey, which ended in failure and led to his defection. <laughs> a spineless deserter nursing a grudge, then. Subsequently, Lodbrok took to the road, seeking to forge connections with others who shared his anti-Shinra sentiments. <laughs> if you mean Avalanche, they're dead and buried. I'm afraid I do not, sir. The fall of the Republic triggered a spate of uprisings in the surrounding regions. We suspect the SRC is largely comprised of forces who were defeated during the unrest. Well, who could blame them? They fought against the Republic in the name of freedom. But when the smoke finally cleared, they found themselves under the heel of a new oppressor. Why, I'd be more surprised if they didn't hate us. 
Pity about Saruf. Would be good to put a face to the name. The Ancient is en route to the temple as we speak. Pursuing her is our top priority. She will guide us to the Promised Land. One way or another. Hmm. Mm. Regarding the speech, sir, many will interpret it as a declaration of war. And given that it was a worldwide broadcast, it would be prudent to issue a response. I intend to make a statement. Sung, if you would. Sir. So, how exactly are we supposed to get back to the Salsa? With all the mountains and valleys in between, definitely not on foot. It's just way too far. Thoughts, Kixef? Hey, Cat! Thoughts? Huh? Um, well, you see... Look! Smoke! Maybe someone's trying to call for Sid? If so, let's hitch a ride. Whew. In response to last night's illegal broadcast by the SRC, President Ruta Chinra held an emergency press conference this morning. Hey! In it, the president... Stood up? Nope. Waiting on you folks. Something I wanted to ask. About your mother. Her name's Afalna, right? Maybe. So what? That sounds like a yes to me. I called it the second I saw you. Boy, am I ever glad I sent up smoke. Tell me, how's she doing? Good? No. She's dead. <clears throat> you know, the whole reason I joined Shinra was to become a pilot. But I wound up as a gopher for some lazy grease monkeys. Had me running around HQ fixing lights and whatnot. One time, though, I came across a pretty young thing, like a little girl in her arms. That was you, wasn't it? Probably. <laughs> you were knee-high to a tonberry. I was what? Called the smogger, I'd wager. Shame. Truly. Hey, Missy. It's Aerith. Aerith. Is there anything I can do for you? I want to help. What? Why? I uh, just trying to do right by you. <laughs> Flying us around will be more than plenty. Thanks. Then again, if you're just dying to help, you could take us to the salsa for free. Free? It's fine, we'll pay. Now it's on me. When you want to head to the saucer, just give me a holler. Let's get a move on then. 
You said that Sephiroth is your foe. I have a history with him. Unfinished business. Hmm? He bothering you? Want me to give him the boot? Try to screw us over, and you're a dead man. Please. <laughs> Take a seat. Do you think you can manage eight? Ain't gonna lie. That's a tall order for most pilots. <sighs> Lucky for you, I ain't most pilots. Constitution and trying to escape didn't help. I think she just pushed herself too hard all so that I could be free I'm sorry At least She went out on her own terms. Did she? Even if she didn't you should honor her memory by enjoying the life she gave you. Yeah Thanks Hey, don't know if y'all heard Wutai's finally made a move against Shinra might be war, and as Midgar's been bombed to hell and back, Shinra's gotta be on the ropes. <laughs> Good. War isn't worth celebrating. Ever. Exactly. This'll affect everyone. For the worse. It's like when Sephiroth shows up. Nobody wins. Uh, on a related note, if war is officially declared, it will be long before borders start closing. So, if you've got somewhere to be, you might want to get a wee shuffle on. Sid? Hey, Sid? I heard you the first time. Just sit tight. Everything's under control. <laughs> <laughs> Sid? I said just sit tight. This beauty's maintained by an expert and piloted <laughs> by a professional. Y'all are in good hands.
Okay, let's start her up. <laughs> Sounds good. Yeah, but the wings are still broken. And? What of it? Only one man has mastered the land, air, and sea. You're looking at it. You got that? Okay, so? So, you can think of me as the captain of your ship. Strap on in and we'll punch through the chop. Aye, aye. aye. <laughs> Let's set sail. Straight through the ravine and on to Costa del Sol. And after that, we hit it. Sounds like a plan. We'll be there before you know it. Let's set a course for Costa del Sol, sir. Roger that. Full speed ahead. Kate, mind filling us in on the Keystone before we arrive? Gladly. About 20 years back, one of my more eccentric colleagues convinced the company to build a museum for his antiques. The reliquary, they called it. Pretty cool, eh? Now, according to company records, the Keystone was housed there. Wait a sec. I thought you said it was at the Gold Saucer. Aye, I'm getting to that. Then a threat. Where was it? Oh, right. So, the museum turned out to be a total flop. Closed as soon as it opened. But... Somewhere between cutting the ribbon and boarding up the windows, the keystone vanished into thin air. So it's not at the saucer? Do you know where it went? No, but I know a man who might. The former curator. Do you? Huh? How do you know that name? Let's just say... I've been around a while. After the museum debacle, all deal was devoted, only to be promoted again when the saucer took off. Made director in no time. A real riches to rags to riches story. All of which is why we're bound for the saucer. Hey, Sid. Did I hear right? You used to work with Shinra. Still do, on occasion. The boys got their uses. That's gonna be a problem. You see, we don't take kindly to friends of the company. And I don't take kindly to that tone of yours. The man who tries to lord his power over me is gonna wish he didn't. That's what's appealing about the skies. Got them all to myself. Rats can have their race in the gutter. Haven't much cared for the squeaking anyways. <laughs> I miss the wild blue yonder dearly. I hope Johnny's all filled up by now. And that his hotel's found its, uh, sea legs. Fat chance. Kid probably got drifted again and is crying himself to sleep every night. Thank you for choosing Bronco Cruises. We sincerely hope you enjoyed your trip with us. Cruises? I thought it was Bronco Airlines. Not after his wings got clipped. <laughs> Seriously, we really appreciate you ferrying us around. You're most welcome. Hey, y'all are headed to the saucer, ain't you? I might could tag along, take in the splendor. What do you think? Of course. Beryl always knows just what to say, am I right? Shall we? <laughs> Wait a sec. Where's Vincent? Up there. Another loner. As if one wasn't enough of a pain in my ass. Yeah, one's more than enough. <laughs> you mean me? <laughs> Should split up to look for Dio. Will do! If I catch you goofing off, so help me out. Uh -uh. 
Ah, uh, Cloud? You got a minute? There's something I failed to mention about the Temple of the Ancients. You might call it a legend or a warning. Uh huh. You see, no one who goes into the temple ever comes out again. No one. And I'm wondering if you really want to take everyone to a place like that. You said it yourself. It's just a legend. I did, aye, but... Let's focus on finding Dio and the Keystone for now. Can you believe this? Corneo? The Dawn outstayed his welcome in Midgar and decided to set up shop in the saucer. Great timing, eh? Interesting. There's an event being held at the Musclehead Coliseum tomorrow. If there's a dress rehearsal today, Dio might be there. We should check it out. Aha! Found him! Greetings, Mr. Director! Hmm. He doesn't look quite right. Hmm. Well, if it isn't our friendly fugitives, you're looking hale and hearty. What happened to you? I made a painful discovery that the Turks are stronger than they look. You, sir, should know better. You're no spring chicken. Speaking of old things, whatever happened to that wee keystone thingy? We need to get our hands on it. Hmm. It was part of your collection, last we heard. Hmm. It was, yes. And in fact, still is. Point of order. My ancestors owned it. Don't you think that makes me its rightful owner? Hmm. A cetera, are you? That, my dear, is a bold claim. <laughs> but still, who am I to dispute your heritage? You may, of course, have the keystone. That is, on one condition. You must take part in our exclusive event, the fight for naming rights. Dio's champions versus the Corneo family! Should my team fall to those rogues, the Gold Saucer will become Corneoland! Flex it out! Training hard and getting those gains! What's up, party people? What's up? Hey. It's a challenge from the dark! Signed Come and on. Give the people what they want! Take it! In a team! But look at me. I can barely lift a finger. And here I was, lamenting my lot in life, when you came along. Tis fate. Nay, divine intervention. What say you? Will you be my champions and go to war against Don Corneo? I'll do it. I'll fight. We win, we get the keystone. Right? As agreed, you have my word. Then we're in. Then we have ourselves a deal. <laughs> Naturally, I want you in peak physical condition for the big bout, so please use my hotel to rest up. Great. I'll jog on ahead and tell the others then. I hear you'll be taking part in the main event at the Coliseum tomorrow. You'd better rest up before your big day. Best of luck to you tomorrow. I trust you. Knock him dead. <laughs> hmm. What about... <sighs> Come on, think. You all right there? How's it going? Not so good. Ah, 
had no idea you were into songwriting. <laughs> oh, I'm not. But I wanted to give it a shot. I see. Well, good for you. Never know till you try. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> they say curiosity killed the cat. Here. Cloud's all yours. I'll take care of Aerith after. Yes, ma'am. Aerith sure does sleep a lot, huh? It's better this way. What? Why? Because of Cloud. He's still sick. Please, you gotta make Cloud get better. You gotta. I mean, I'd love to, but... You, uh... You said it's better for Aerith to stay asleep because Cloud's sick. Why is that? Because... She'll die if she wakes up. Oh, uh, you think? What makes you say that? Promise not to tell? When she wakes up, a scary man is gonna kill her. Huh? Cloud tries to save her, but he doesn't make it in time. He almost does, but he doesn't. She likes Cloud, so she's happy he came. Really, really happy. But... But... she dies. That's why you have to make Cloud better. If he's sick, he can't save Aerith. Uh. Marlene, are you sure you didn't just have a bad dream? No. I saw it. Oh. Okay. I did! <laughs> Don't worry. I believe you. With everything that's going on, how could I not? Okay. Just one question, if it's all right. Can you tell me what this scary man looked like? Please? His hair was long. And gray. Of all the people. Zack, did you see? They're blooming. Would you look at that? These were always Aerith's favorites. Do you think this means she's going to wake up? <sighs> Maybe. Can always hope. Yeah. 
Hey, Elmira. I've got to go away for a bit. Need to talk to someone about Cloud. And who is this someone? A doctor? Well, he's, uh... <laughs> Close enough, I suppose. Well, hurry on back, okay? It's hard enough looking after these two with your help, but without it... Without you, I'd be a wreck. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm going by bike. Shouldn't take long. Just keep an eye on him while I'm gone, okay? Oh, and if Aerith does wake up, please don't let her leave. <laughs> no promises. That girl snuck out more times than I can count. <laughs> don't let her. Please. I won't. I thought about what you said. Couldn't stop thinking about it, actually. About how it's, it's up, up to each, each of us to find our own purpose in life. Because an avalanche, I think I've found mine. We don't have a whole lot of time. So tonight's got to be the night. Do yourself a favor and steer clear of Reactor 6. <laughs> Take care, Biggs. No, I didn't... That's not what I meant! <clears throat> Gotta find Elmira! Congratulations. <laughs> Would you like to sing it? Me? Die Fingula Kodie 
I've never seen her look more beautiful. Yeah. She's a real star. A mechanical metropolis built of blood, sweat, and gears. The city of Gargia. An insatiable machine devoid of pity. Neighbors on all sides fell victim to its hunger while it grew larger and ever more powerful. The whirlwind of conquest swept up many, including him. Alfie was the traveler's name. In search of the goddess's blessing, he had journeyed forth alone. He flung himself into the fray in the hope of becoming a hero, only to be flung in jail and branded a villain. I must away. Release me! My blade thirsts for vengeance! Fear not, Alfred. I've come for you. Rosa, how did you find me? I sensed you were in trouble. Twas the will of the goddess, perhaps. Another step, gentle princess. Farfados. Oh ho! Would the cur defy his captor? I, by the grace of the goddess, as she has set me free, even now, so too shall she guide my blade.
a splendid show. Never have I seen a swordsman dance with such grace and skill. The goddess must have seen fit to grant him a sliver of her strength. Perhaps his dreams of becoming a hero may yet be fulfilled. Now then, ha, hail and well met, noble Alfred. Though I am but a humble fool, some talent in divination do I possess. Anything you wish to know, I shall gladly reveal. What is the future, if not the product of choices past? Each a fork in the road, none can divine the conclusion of every path. And yet, all tales that begin with a chance encounter share the same end. A tearful farewell. Well, that's enough of my blethren. It's time we set the stage in you. May mine infernal fangs find their mark and taste of your flesh. A remarkable display of swordsmanship, enough to prove his heroism once and for all. He had been unjustly imprisoned and stripped of his wings. Nevertheless, Alfred was resolved to press onward and reclaim the heavens. Now, without further ado... Friends, lend me your ears. Our aspiring hero's and indomitable princess's tale draws to a close. Only one act remains. Parting is, indeed, such sweet sorrow. But as they say, all good things must come to an end. Though it is our wish that this tale remain with you long after we are gone. So, my friends, will you join us in our conquest of despair? Spectacular! Though our tale be loveless named, we may yet restore hope to this heartbroken world. The Dragon King Varvados fears only true love, and so our hero Alfred will reveal to him its power. He will go to his beloved and proclaim their blessed bond with a kiss. Now, stand before your soulmate and let the world know your heart. My love. Alfred. Ah! Cease the charade! Love is not but an illusion! Goddess above, let my blade strike true!
Bereft of wings and broken, I consign you to the Abyss. Thank you, Alfred, for saving our world and everyone in it. You are a true hero. <laughs> what awaits you at Journey's End, I wonder? Will the Goddess grant you her blessing? Or will the flames of vengeance consume you? All shall be revealed, O oh puppet of fate. So dance while you still have time. Dance to your frayed strings break. And you can dance no more. Alfred, look. Must you go? Those I hold dear are waiting. I don't understand. I cannot. But... Please be safe. Rest assured, I shall return. You needn't promise that you'll wait. For I know that I will find you here. You got this.
Go on. Wow, that was amazing. I can't wait to start bragging. I'm friends with a famous singer. Well, maybe next time you could take the stage. <laughs> Attention! The Sky Wheel will be closing soon. Please line up and have your ticket ready. Well, the night's still young, right? What say we check it out? You ready for this? A gondola's here! Well, after you... You first. Uh, Cloud? Think we can steer with this? Worth a try. <laughs> Here goes! Safe. <laughs> hey, over there, see that? <laughs> Being a jockey looks so fun. That's definitely not what the races are like. I guess I'll just have to see for myself. Zach. How they were friends five years ago. What? Not yet. Right. Touchy subject, huh? She must still have feelings for Zach. 
I think it's a little more complicated than that. Hey, it's kind of weird us being here like this, isn't it? Is it? I mean, I guess it is. Kinda. Ever since we left Midgar on this crazy journey. Ever since we were kids, even. I can't remember a time like this. A time when we were this close. Or am I getting ahead of myself again? Again? Yeah. Again. <sighs> Not one bit. We should probably head back to our rooms. Yeah, probably. Disclosure, didn't know anything about this promised land. But I do now, and seriously, wow, find of the century. You never know, that intel can be bad. Our conclusions are based on a long-standing theory. It's safe to assume the temple and the promised land are one and the same. If the ancients headed there, then it's gotta be the right place. <laughs> Good thing we let her go. <laughs> I understand the keystone is to be awarded to the winners of today's special event. How should we proceed? I have an idea. Let's bring this one home.
thing that can help heal the stars of the trail? A brand new rock! So let's make some noise and cheer the guy on as he plays to win the game of love! Come on! That's I see it red! I repeat! That's I see it red! If I beat you, I'd be running like hell! To you, my champions, the gold saucer's name shall not be profaned. For this great boon, allow me to embrace you each in turn. Yeah, we're good with just the keystone. And we'll take it now, thank you. Hm. As you wish. I will not deny you what is yours by right. Behold, your prize. Right 
No, you don't! Come and get it! Too slow! Shame on you! Hmm? It's Shinra property. Cut the bullshit. Red! Get a move on. <laughs> it's time to get some payback for the mine. <laughs> a grudge match, then! Over which I must insist you allow me to officiate. <laughs> to ensure a fair and entertaining bout, We'll give you a chance to rest before the festivities. Once you're ready, you need but say the word. <sighs> Fantastic. Then without further ado... Getting warmed 
them. Right, Brood? Yeah. This fight's far from over. Esteemed spectators, if you would be so kind as to direct your attention to the center of the ring. To ensure a fitting climax for this spectacle, we've invited a special guest. Now, let's give a round of applause for... The Shinra Electric Power Company's very own president, Rufus Shinra! What are you doing here? You're still a Shinra employee. At least on paper. <laughs> and as your boss, I figured I'd dispose of you personally. Was that meant to be a joke? <sighs> you two go. Wait with some. <sighs> Got my number this time? Hmm. Let's see, shall we? I've heard of aggressive managers, but this boss is cutthroat! It's corporate downsizing with a vengeance! If you want to savor the action, don't even think about leaving your seat! In fact, don't even blink! We salute you! A friend of the I wasn't expecting such an impressive special guest! <laughs> sure. President Rufus caught me entirely by surprise! Now that our VIP is how do you envision this fight playing out? Well, we teach the nasty to buy the corporate ladder, but whether that would translate to the arena is anyone's guess. Yes. 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 This could be a ah. big gamble for the President? Yes, though I doubt he's leaving it all to chance. He would never commit to a new adventure. Yeah. All I can say with confidence is that this bout will be discussed for weeks and months to come. Perhaps ah. even years. You can hear that, folks? This is Esther. Meet Kamui, my new gift to myself. Huh. Ready? <laughs> If this is team Deal's strategy, then it's a bad one! I don't know about you folks, but I got a bad one from over here! No! This one withering us out after another from Cloud! Feeling good. Where were we? Yeah, come on! Whatever. Yeah. Come on now. Right where it is. No. I got the president is doing that.
start I had to end this way, but it still stings. For a moment there, it felt like we were friends. I am so pissed at Kate right now. Probably laughing at us from his new office. It makes me want to beat the crap out of him. Hey, are you okay? 
I'll be fine. Just thought I was a better judge of character. Forget him. So what's the plan then? We are not just gonna let him take the black materia, right? We're gonna go after him, right? And how are we supposed to do that without any leads? He's got a point. The only one who knows where the temple is, is Kate Seth. <sighs> but he told the Turks, whose chopper I should be able to track. Really? I know which radio frequencies they use. The moment they get on comms, I'll find them. Well now, the old gal's got a transmitter. Ha! Then we're in business. All right. I'll run on ahead and get her warmed up for you. Later. It's settled then. We follow Shinra to the temple. And the Black Materia will be ours. There you are. I need that radio. Thinks practically an antique. Even better. Okay, give me a read back. 7, 205, 246. Confirmed. Those are the correct coordinates. See you up north. Roger. All units have been apprised of the temple's location. Good. Hmm. So, I did some digging. This keystone curse stuff, it sounds like it might be the real deal. Everyone who's ever used it has ended up dead. Close. To be precise, those who enter the temple are never seen again. Vanished doesn't mean dead. And that's better how? Either way, the president's sending us to our deaths. Isn't that messed up? He'll be on site. I'm sorry. What? And you're surprised why? Uh, I don't know. Maybe because it's a terrible idea? Although, that's kind of on brand for him. Wheels up. We'll arrive first and roll out the welcome mat. <sighs> Understood. Got him. They're headed for the northern continent. North, huh? Tricky. Can you get there? Can I get there? Only with one arm tied behind my back. Girl might be missing her wings, but long as you got me, it'll be smooth sailing. Oh man, this is gonna be rough. What can I say? Life is full of ups and downs. <laughs> They've mobilized the Turks and the military. Hope you're ready for a fight. Not long now. I hope you realize this temple of yours is not, in fact, the promised land. No. Then what is it? Hmm. The beginning of the end. The celebration of the faithful. A watershed moment for all mankind. But the temple itself... Merely the stage. Objective sighted. Are you sure this is the place? Quite.
Hey guys, look! I'm looking. All right, mateys. Time to hoist the sails. This thing doesn't have any! And I'm not your matey either! <laughs> Just roll with it, kid. Y'all ready? Then batten down the hatches and hold on tight. Aye, aye! There's so much, so much tension. Waves did a number on the old gal. Gonna give her a once over. You go on ahead. Sure about that? I'm a big boy. <laughs> the ancients built all this? Damn. The Cetra. Yes. Oh. Hmm? What? <sighs> Finally. Born of the planet. With her we speak. Her flesh we shape. Unto her promised land shall we one day return. By her loving grace and providence may we take our place in paradise. Oh, no. This isn't the promised land. I mean, just look around. It can't be. Not with all this sadness and anger. We good? Yeah. Cloud, 
Do you know who? Sephiroth beat us to the punch. Come on. We don't have much time. something? That black materia's gotta be worth a fortune! Shh! Oh, not another word about the black materia. We can't let Shinra find out. Like Kate hasn't already told them. Doesn't matter if they know or not. We just need to find it first. Huh? Hold up! What the hell? I could be wrong, but I'm starting to think we checked our sanity at the door. The only promised thing here is death for us all. Elena, cut the chatter. Hey, you know I'm right. <sighs> Sir, Avalanche and the Ancients, they're here. I say we set an ambush and take them out. No, we focus on the mission. <sighs> Our orders were to find proof that this is indeed the promised land. So we will split up in search. Reno, Rude, pair off. Hmm. Elena, you're with me. Sir. Reno. Hmm? See you keep your priorities straight. Copy that, boss. without a guardian, right? Wanted to tell the girl! Don't piss it off more! Focus, guys. Let's be 
this shit right here! Stop rolling up! Streams angry. At least that's how it feels. Hey, Aerith, do you think you could explain that we don't mean any harm? I don't know. I mean, I'll try.
our priority. We have to get to it first. Let's move. Cloud! They're with Aerith. They'll be fine. We're going as fast as we can. Okay, it's good. Kids, sorry we're late. Better late than never. Still owe you both for Sector 7. <laughs> Could say the same for you. It's a shame we'll have to settle up later. Just have to pick this up next time. Get back here. Damn it. screwed up and don't beat yourself up first time and all that just gotta keep at it starting right now we'll get through this Aerith together <laughs> yeah yeah you're right can't give up now
think they're gonna teach me how to be at one with the live stream, attuned to its flow. Take a quick breather. Good idea. Can't go letting our girl wear herself out. <sighs> okay, but just for a bit. We have a way out. You're dead. 
You're all okay. Right back at gotcha. you. We're lucky you didn't crush us. Shall we? You sure? Yep. Can't keep Cloud and the others waiting.
don't. Come on. You chickens! <laughs> Look at him go! <laughs> Sir, it's time we made a stand. Now we're talking! You saw the flags outside, didn't you? The promised land belongs to Shinra now. Sorry, Ancient. You snooze, you lose. I thought there were six. Oh dear, did you three get lost? Three is still greater than two, you know. And? So what if it is? Between me and Sung, we got the strength of an army. Spare the Ancient. I'll try. <laughs> Spare us both the effort, and No! Remember that I tried to win. She's a lot of caught. Cool! <laughs>
Getting past me. I'm a Turk. God damn it. It's them. I'm so glad you're all okay. Right back at ya. We're lucky you didn't crush us. not death. It's a homecoming. Stop. Please. There's no time for this, like you said. One of them's still ahead of us. Right. No time. Death doesn't suit a Turk. Built like a maze, remnants of battle. It's not a temple, it's a fortress. To defend against what though? Fiends? Wars. Humans. Humans feared and coveted the power of the ancients. And so they slaughtered them. Oh, Sephiroth. <laughs> Don't be afraid. It's not death. It's a homecoming. You'll see him soon enough.
is it? The promised land. I'm sorry, but I don't think it is. Of course. Figures. <clears throat> Always did take my word for it. <laughs> I never hated you, you know? This pedestal's a key. One only an ancient can use. Where are you going? Got a report to make. Aerith, they need you. What's it say? O oh, warrior, weary though thou art, inward, must thou now turn, reflect on thy long and bloody path, and kindle life's fire anew. Forget not thine ire, for it shall remake thee. Rolling out the red carpet for us? Sorta. We're each supposed to face some kind of trial. I guess you... Get to sit this one out. <sighs> Typical. I'll wait out here. But make it quick. Well, no point delaying the inevitable. Right. See you on the other side. Specimen. It must be handled with the utmost care. Number 13, don't be shy.
sure he's strapped down tight. Such a fine red coat. A rare specimen for my lucky 13th test. That's it. Henceforth, you shall be Red 13. Shall we then? Monsters. Sephiroth. Soldiers. Mako. Shinra. I'm sick of this. I'm sick of all of this! Try turning a little lighter. 
this time. No point fighting if we don't have to. Boss, I don't think we'll be back here anytime soon. So make sure you're ready for anything, okay? Come and claim him. I can always keep him from myself. <laughs> What's wrong, baby? You okay? Hmm? Murder! <laughs> What's gotten into you? <laughs> All right, let's get you inside. Someone's clearly had a long day. Oh, wait. 
up, baby. Wake up. Don't need me. Not again. Stopping at Sector 4, Undercity. Sector 4, Undercity. Mommy, does it hurt? I'm sorry, sweetie. I'm spoiling our adventure. Just wait here, all right? I'm gonna find a doctor. Huh? Hello? Stay down, brat. around here I'm sorry honey but I don't know I'm not from this part of town oh okay I could help you look but no thank you to go. I don't want to leave my mom alone too long. Your mother? Mom! Aerith. 
Mommy has to return to the planet. What? Don't cry, sweetie. I'll always be with you. Always and forever. But you can't go. You can't. What about our adventure? <sighs> Miss, do you need help? She's over here! You know, if you think about it, life and death are just two sides of the same coin. Our bodies may disappear when we die, but our spirits still live on. We return to the planet, rejoin the life stream, and in time give rise to new life. In time, yeah. I get it. I really do. Knowing that the people we love aren't really gone, it doesn't make it any easier to let them go. It still hurts. So we can't just think of it as a homecoming. Because it's not that simple. We have all experienced pain. We all have our regrets. What we've done What's been done to us? That's set in stone. The past is forever. But the future, even if it has been written, can be changed. It's true that the pain and the anger we carry can make us stronger. But at what cost? What toll does it take? I believe true strength doesn't come from any of that. True strength comes from our ability to forgive. To forge ahead in the hope of making things right. 
It comes from ourselves. So focus on the future, not the past. Do that, and not even Sephiroth will be able to stand in our way. Not even him. Are you finished? Clock's ticking. Come on. Yeah. I know. It's time you stopped pretending, Cloud. Wow. Shed a tear. What is that? Sephiroth. Sorrow. Anger. Regret. Guilt. Nothing but empty words to you. For you. Are but a puppet. My puppet. And I'll kill you! to the ground, as I did. <sighs> I'm not like him. I'll never be like him.
The Black Materia shall summon the Destroyer of Worlds. The Meteor shall fall, sundering the skies and shattering the Earth. All life shall perish. Yet I shall remain. <laughs> I, son of Genova, will at last claim my birthright. My dominion shall reach into infinity. It shall encompass worlds unbound by fate, and histories unwritten. Huh? What do you mean? My fragmented mother. These errant worlds. All shall be one again. The reunion. All made whole. Forever. There's no such thing as forever. Ah. But there will be. No. You're wrong. <laughs> Your day of reckoning is here. Yet, you need not be afraid. <laughs> This is but a homecoming. Get back here, damn it!
today. <laughs> As if we were ever gonna lose, we're unstoppable! <sighs> Let me through. See you too. Started shaking. Let those who seek our star's demise find herein their rest. If the black materia is removed, the whole place comes down. Uh, you're kidding, right? Please tell me that you're kidding! Calm down. We just have to return it to the altar. Let go! You first, kid! It's too late! We can't stop it now! Besides, there's no point fighting over a fake! an exit. Come on. We gotta move. Hey, Cat. Appreciate it. <laughs> Off with you! Thank you. Let's go. 
Now that's not a sight you see every day, eh? But you, we saw you. <laughs> if I popped my clogs, they'd be sobbing in the streets at the saucer. This beautiful body's but one of many. <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> All right, knock it off, you. <laughs> so, y'all get what you were after? <sighs> Read the room, dude. Like, come on. Hey, what's gotten into you? Didn't you hear what Aerith said? That's mine. Fine, fetch. Sephiroth. This is the key, which grants access to the true counterpart hidden between worlds. Give it back! Whoa! <sighs> At last, the time has come. What in the world is going on? <laughs> Could it be? Has it finally begun? you have this. It's 
she won't give it to us. We must take it. Premature to draw any scientific conclusions. But one thing is abundantly clear. We at Shinra could stand to dream far bigger. <laughs> I would have to agree. To the right, Shinra HQ, where Hojo should be, along with a cure for Cloud. To the left, Reactor 6, which will get blown up along with Biggs unless I stop him. His hair was long. And gray. Of all the people. Sorry, one more question. Does Aerith... Does she have feelings for Cloud? Yeah, she 
likes him. She does, huh? Can't say I saw that coming. <laughs> Cause you weren't there. <laughs> Hang in there, Cloud. I got you. <laughs> Hello? I know you're in there. Time's a-wasting, Cloud. And it's not like we have much left. <laughs> Up and at him, soldier! What is this? Are we? <laughs> we could call it a homecoming. Or homeward bound, maybe? <laughs> Let's just call it a dream. My dream, to be precise. What the hell are you... Shh. Just play along for a bit, okay? Let's take a walk, okay? Ah, one thing. You have to promise not to look up. Hmm? Because I'm pretty sure you won't like what you see. You know I'm gonna have to look now, right? <laughs> right. There I go, putting my foot in my mouth. When will I ever learn? Check it out. Come on. <laughs> Ta-da! Can I have one? Can I, can I, can I? Please. <clears throat> Which one do you want? Whichever one you pick. Why are you acting so weird? Hmm. Well, you are. This isn't you. If you ask hmm? me, I'd probably say, uh, this piece? I don't know. Actually, I'm gonna let him choose. Everything is free. But remember, it's one per person. This is it. After much cajoling, Cloud is about to give his very first gift to Aerith. Only question is, which one will he choose? <laughs> that one. I'm so sorry, I meant everything but that one. <laughs> Tell you what, I've got something else I think you'll love. Come on, man. You know, that's actually pretty neat. Perfect, even. <laughs> you kidding me? I'll miss these moments. Thank you both. Now, where to next? <gasps> that way. Come on.
It's your lucky day, you two. Feel free to take whatever you'd like. Ah, oh, but only one per person. Then we better choose wisely. Take one of those. Then I'll have one of those. All right. Hmm. Though these aren't the only treats I've got, you know. How about my latest creation? Really? Let's try it. Sure. Go on, enjoy. Figured I'd pull out all the stops for my last hurrah. Guess I pulled out one too many. No, it just needs a little sugar, maybe. Yeah, and take out whatever's making my tongue tingle. It sounds to me like I need to start over. If only we all had more time, am I right? Pretty sure I only asked to meet with Professor Hojo. Not a whole platoon. Whatever. The world's about to end anyway. Got nothing to lose, and everything to gain. So this is where you've been hiding, in a world that has accepted its fate. Hey, what's that? Uh, let's go see. Just as you must. <laughs> Sorry folks, I've only got one shot left. Uh -huh. We were next. We've been waiting for yeah. ages. We don't have any photos together. We don't have any either. <sighs> okay, um, how about you all pose? Cutest looking couple gets their photo taken. Okay, you two. Smile real big for the camera now. Hold on, Biggs. I'm coming. Reactor busted? Seems it's all out of Mako. I'm still sucking away, but the only thing it's pulling up is dirt. Uh, meaning? That the life stream's bone dry. Bomb one reactor, bomb them all. Planet's done either way. <laughs> and so are we. Run! <laughs> It? Bomb barely made it through testing. Figures it'd fail for real. What am I still doing here? Why did I have to survive? 
Look at me. I'm useless. Can't even make a damn bomb. You're not useless. For a moment there, I thought my life might have some meaning, but... It doesn't mean shit. Well, that's where you're wrong. Wanna know why? Because you mean a lot to a lot of people. So come on, man. Thanks, but... Why are you here? Yeah, about that. Never mind, I know. Kinda obvious now I think about it. World may be ending and all, but a bombing's still a bombing. That's part of it too. But mostly, I was worried about you. That bleeding heart. It'll get you killed. I don't know. I just... I wanted to take action. Take charge. Take control. To know that I had a choice. That this path, this world was one I chose. I wanted to take back my life. Hmm. Pigs? Buddy? No. No. Biggs, get up! <laughs> End of the road, huh? Fate's got one twisted sense of humor. I'm always the punchline, but I'm sick of taking it shit! This is my life. I make the rules. Ah! See you never! Hell yeah! <laughs> <sighs> Later. Bye. Come on, let's go. <laughs> hey, why'd you pass on us? Well, for starters, you don't look like you're on a date. More like at a funeral. Well, I don't think that's true at all. Just have fun while you can, huh? See ya. Now then, where shall we go to next? Before that, talk to me. What's going on with this place? With you? And please don't play dumb. All right. I'll tell you when we get to our spot, okay? Where's that? You really have to ask. Mm. It's one of my most favorite places. Can I make it any more obvious? I supposed to choose <sighs> Sephiroth Hey <sighs> You want a piece of me? No. Not you. It's all you, wasn't it, Sephiroth? Well, it isn't over yet.
find a way. You'll see. This is it, right? Our spot? Bingo. That was easy. I told you it was obvious. Well, you'll have to give me a harder one next time. Oh? Next time? I mean, why not? Yeah. Why not? At least I know now, where you and I stand, I mean. Thing is, Cloud, I really like you. But then, like can mean a lot of different things, can't it? Cause there's liking, and then there's... liking. Seriously, what's going on? You've been weird all day. I'm sorry. Whatever happens, don't blame yourself. Thank you. <sighs> Sorry. I'll be okay. Here. Take it. But your mom gave that to you. This isn't about me, though. It's about saving the world. And you. So thank you, Cloud. For everything. What is this? of reality. When the boundaries of fate are breached, new worlds are born. The planet encompasses a multitude of worlds, ever unfolding. Some quickly perish, while others endure. Yet even the most resilient worlds are doomed to fade. Nevertheless, their loss is not to be mourned. For it is not death, but a homecoming that awaits them. In the planet's embrace, all life is as one. All born are bound to her, 
Should this world be unmade, so too shall her children. He'd tell you that he only cares about the planet. That he'd do everything in his power to protect and preserve it. But this isn't the way it's supposed to be. Defy destiny. Together. Seven seconds till the end. Time enough for you. Perhaps. But what will you do with it? Let's see. Let go of the past, Cloud. For the future is bright. We are to bear witness to the reunion of worlds. The reunion. I give you my blessing. We meet again. You're okay. Sephiroth's here. I can feel him, watching us. Yeah. But forget about him for now. Just focus on yourself, okay? But I'm fine. Focus on you, Cloud. The one I've been trying to find. The real you. Huh? Leave Sephiroth to me. I can handle him. He's planning to use the Black Materia, but I won't let that happen. He has to be stopped by a Cetra. And I'm the last. Thanks for returning it to me, Cloud. I appreciate it. But now, it belongs with you.
It looks empty. Aerith? Aerith! Aerith! Come back! Tell me you're okay. I'm fine. Didn't know if it was Marco poisoning or the degradation, but I thought you were done for. Sorry to disappoint. Well, you can thank me for the ride later. Gotta find Aerith first. She told us that an ancient city lies just beyond these woods, and that the Cetra built a very special altar there. That's where she's headed, I'm sure of it. Problem is... Sephiroth stole the Black Materia. Meaning he could destroy the entire planet any minute. And... Aerith said she's the only one who can stop him. Where is this place? No one knows but her. We got separated in the fog, and... She's out there. All alone. Then we'd better hurry. That way. And how can you be so sure? Sometimes you just know. The Grand Metropolis, where the ancients once gathered to pray, thought lost to time. Until today. This is it, right? You know, I think it is. 
Yeah, Gramps told me all about it when I was growing up. He called it the Forgotten Capital. Said it was the heart of Cetran civilization, but I never thought I'd see it. And this place screams Fancy Altar. There it's gotta be here. Well then, let's go get our girl. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say those assholes are fixing to get in our way again. Look at them, though. Yeah. They're different. Don't belong to fate or the planet. They belong to Sephiroth. I'm waiting, Cloud. all this it's the end <laughs> Sephiroth <laughs> good Aerith Pray. It's upon us. The reunion. When worlds merge. When spite and sorrow are harvested. To feed the planet.
are empty. Just like you. Cloud, it's okay. of worlds and emotions. Moss, chief among them. It engulfs fleeting moments of joy, transforming them into rage, sadness, hatred. Never have I felt them so keenly. see the truth with such clouded eyes. Shut up! <laughs> After all, you're just a puppet. Wait! 
some spirit want to beg for mercy! Good to go? I got luck! Let's do this!
white as far as the eye can see. Hey, anybody there? <sighs> How about that? <sighs> well, nice to see you too. So, I hear you've been pretty busy. my lead. Look at you taking charge. I like it. What the hell happened to you? You were a soldier. How could you turn your back on everything we stand for? Easily. Right. As long as you get what you want, who cares who gets hurt? Is that it? You really got it coming.
Just as worlds unite, so too do they part.
is going on? Embrace your dreams. And whatever happens, protect your honor as a soldier! You ready? We're not done here! Bringing out the big gun!
Let's end this. Together. I must admit... I underestimated you. Take me later. This ain't over. Right. Okay, let's finish this. Get him! No more. Ah! Damn it. I'll take care of him. Here he comes! Why don't you leave the world? What do you make of this cloud? This one's for you! Any other dream? Or is it all just a fever dream? Don't even bother. That shit won't work on me. Not anymore. <laughs> Come on! That's that hurt. Fine. With me!
<laughs> Why is he laughing? Because he knows this isn't over. Everybody's waiting. Aerith, wake up.
can't stay here forever. We'd best get moving. Yep. Sounds good. See you off. Tifa, come on. I have to admit, you were quite the man. Who, me? <laughs> I guess not. Anyway, you haven't seen Viceroy Saruf, have you? He failed to show at an important event. Made us look like fools. Maybe he wouldn't have. If you'd spent some money on that set. Ah, you're probably right. Rich kids do like things just so. Still got results, though, even without him. Resistance elements are more fired up than ever. You know, Glenn, I'm on to you. This war is nothing but a ploy to distract me from Sephiroth. <laughs> How very astute. Regardless, the plan is already in motion. Our promised land will become reality. A father's dream. Accomplished by his son. I want the real thing, not some imitation. <laughs> but an imitation's all you deserve. like old times. <laughs> Thank you.
Did I? Nah. I couldn't have dreamt that. It all felt way too real. Just as worlds unite, so too do they part. <laughs> but who's to say they can't unite again? Is it just a wee bit higher? Screw you, cat. How's this? No shit. Nice catch. So, what Aerith actually do anyway? For takeoff. <laughs> Finally. It's not fair. The reunion. Hey, you coming or what? Yeah, one sec. You have to promise not to look up. Don't look up. Well, now I gotta look. Fine, but don't let it get to you. Don't let what get to me? It's not real. Just an illusion. Now let's go get Sephiroth. He's hiding up north. North? Trust me, he is. Soldier's intuition. Oh, yeah? Better hope you're right. <laughs> mm. All right, fine. We trust you. Just remember, we got everything riding on this. And that's a load you'd best be ready to carry. No heavy loads. We're close to capacity as it is. 
Don't worry about me. I can handle it. Take care. You gonna be okay getting back? And if I said I wasn't? <laughs> Don't worry. It's like a second home. I guess. But what if... What if something happens? Then I'll send up smoke. Thanks. I'll keep an eye out. I'll put everything I've got into my prayers. I'll stop the meteor. And I'll leave the rest to you. Good luck. Aerith. I will stop Sephiroth. Trust me. You promise? Promise. Till I met 